Hello, beautiful people. How is it going? I actually never really wear my hat like this, but it's kind of cute. Okay, really wanted to jump on here really quick to say, I feel like I should start my videos, um, all of my videos, with just saying that, uh, describing this word triggering, which not a lot of people know, uh, or I don't know, I didn't even know really what that meant in reference to what I'm going to talk about, which is basically that this term used, I guess in psychology, or whatever, right, is that I understand that I may say some things that trigger somebody. So that means and either make you upset, make you mad at me, whatever it is, right? And maybe you're not really sure. Maybe some, a lot of people, maybe they just walk away from the channel and uh, when that happens to them or whatever. Um, but I would like to, to say, I would like to invite people, you, if you ever feel like that, invite you to look at it more so as a blessing in disguise and something to learn from. Because if I really get deep in talking about how we are are all mirror images of each other, it might be too far out there for you right now. So I just want to say that is that I totally understand that. And, um, but don't think... I d just try to not look at it as a bad thing. Okay. So with that being said, I wanted to jump on here today because this could be great, fabulous news. I think that it is, is that to make a long story short and me talking, uh, to others, meaning to kids, adults or whatever on my self-defense journey, I have a lot to say when it comes to mindset training, right? Including that of personal space and assertiveness and being able to speak up. So, for the sake of trying to not make this video again too long and just to report back to you that I'm going to be able, I'm going to, I have this opportunity, right, to be leading basically 18 fifth graders. Good luck to me. And I don't know, right, if this is going to be the thing for me because I've had experience, obviously, with um, kids and having a daughter and volunteering and that, all that sort of thing. But it's different when you are leading and regulating the different personalities and who even knows what kind of parenting that they've had, right? And also being responsible for that many. So I'm checking it out. And um, I actually even told these people um, that I don't know if this is for me, but I will know very quickly. So um, I think I have developed some enhanced leadership skills. So the exciting thing about this is that I had always thought one day, right, how evolved would we be as a people to have a generation of kids, younger kids, right, that grow up actually being able to recognize and talk about personal space. What is that? who you allow in and out of it and having those conversations that don't even have to get that deep by saying things like an adult should not be asking you for help on the playground like you know help me find my puppy or whatever it is but for that matter right adults asking kids for help so bringing awareness because a lot of them are very conscious and aware i'm just helping to open up these conversations because usually mo usually whatever most importantly I want to bring it to attention that a lot of these situations of things, right, whether it's um, any like about abuse, right, physical abuse, whatever it is, um, all these different things, right, sexual abuse, but helping our kids know what that personal space means. What is that? Right. And all these things that are discussed about in self-defense specifically. And I have also talked about my stories where I wish I had some speak up skills and for that matter, the confidence to do it. Right. And that's where the physical self-defense comes into play. But you don't have to learn that first. Right. So I can actually teach them how to speak up. And that is very difficult, especially for shy, introverted don't want to sound like a jerk or whatever it is. Hey, hey, buddy, that's just too close. Like, what's wrong with that? So easy. So I don't think this is like a new thought or anything. A lot of us out here have thought about, you know, hey, I wish I, 
I learned these things. I wish somebody was doing it. I wish this and that, whatever. And maybe it's just never been for me the right time to do it. Or I don't really know. Um, it's different doing it in a self-defense school and all that sort of stuff. And I don't know why I haven't already done it, people. Okay, so it could just, again, be the timing or I don't know. So good luck to me. And this is exciting. I am sharing this with you because this is a very big deal, very important to me, very um, important, I think, to the world. And this is, I. the great thing about it is I can keep it on a really simple, basic level. And I think that's good for me, even though it's going to challenge me, because as you all know, nothing is ever black and white to me. I have very difficult time saying yes or no to questions and designing things. So... I'm, I guess to say I'm very, very or thorough. I like to be thorough. But, you know, fifth grade, I'm going to have to get in there and kind of see what's going on. But at least that I can have on a very basic level conversation. I could create an entire curriculum. But just on a very basic level, I know that I can um, get to them and help them understand and give them these skills to equip them for life. And I'm excited to do this, people. So just want to share that with you. And again, I just wanted to bring that up. I have not about the triggering thing is that I rarely talk about it. But as time goes on, I really feel like these are the sorts of things. There are certain things at the beginning of my videos that I really need to uh, bring up because I look at us as all teachers of each other. I am not here to say that I know more or I'm better or anything like that, just to share what I've learned on my own and what has helped me in life. And I haven't even done enough videos on holistic wellness and stress relief skills, which is something I can also do with this class and helping them how to journal, even if it's just one question, right? really basic stuff. You know, this day sucked. What could I have done to make it better? So learning or teaching them how a way to express through writing and then what comes, what can become of writing, which I've talked about is the free writing. But just know you may have not been able to put that word on it, trigger, because I never knew what it was before. I just knew when I was talking to maybe friends or different things like that, and they may, might say something that, like I said, would maybe make me upset or withdraw or get quiet or not want to talk to them for a few days. But I always knew where their heart was and they were coming from love. I just didn't really understand what was going on there. So triggering, helping us actually look at ourselves okay there must be a problem if we're getting offended or whatever it is like take a moment you know so i will end this video and i'm happy to share this with you and we'll see how this all goes even if it's very short-lived or not i will have done it i will have got it out of my system and um that's an important part of my journey, right? Sharing what I have learned and from my perspective and maybe it helps somebody else, right? But I have to at least get it out, get it out there. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.